What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Seven Days to Die. Uh, so, I'll show you guys around a little bit how far I've gotten. Um, I, yeah, that's pretty much as far as I've gotten. So, I didn't realize this, but the rebar frames actually makes it uh, reinforced concrete. So that's why it costs more to upgrade it at a time. Which kind of sucks because the wall is undone. Not done. Will not be done. So like 200 freaking things of uh, concrete only does uh, only does like I don't know. Uh, it's like 10 brain fart. Ten, it only does 10 blocks. So I've got all my forges making cement right now. I mine down a rock and there is a freaking Yeah, I get those all the time. Nothing but screamers. Screamers every day. In fact, I went to mine a rock, came back, and there was a screamer sitting in my house. Had it was standing right here. Apparently had broken through here, saw that I wasn't in here because the forge was going. So yeah. I am having to shut all this stuff down because Screamers everywhere. Screamers, screamers everywhere. And they just constantly spawn. So, right now. Okay, so right now. I have about. That will get me like 30. Yeah. Yep, not so basically not doing so hot on the concrete. The reason why these didn't cost that much was because I had started from a wood frame and gotten it up. I'm trying to get this lowest layer down so that at least can kind of use the wall. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at right now, though. And also, I need to grind out all of this, go around. So I'm going to have to grind out all of this as well. But now it makes this, that's too deep, so I'm going to have to fix that. See, that's kind of the problem I've been having. It's like, the ground is not very, um... And here they come.
honestly really like the uh, the burst. I just wish uh, it was a uh, one tap, three bullets. Make it one tap, three bullets, and it would be perfect. Hanging on the wall out here. That's what's making things hard, is that they keep on breaking the freaking blocks. This side would be is good. You're gonna have to build some gravel to fix this. Which, what was it? It was like stone and sand. Might have some, but just in case. Oh, I have some. I can just cancel that. probably have to just... Do I have any frames? No, I don't. I'm probably just gonna make that into like a wood floor or something. Maybe reinforce it. Need more re rebar. Yeah, let's get cobblestone. Oh, you know what? I scrapped all my cobblestone. That's gonna have to do it for now. Some frames there. As long as we can drive through it, I don't care about that little gap. Unless it's, oh, I might have to. Yeah, see, as long as I can drive through it. I'm gonna have to go around. This side's okay. Till we're right here. Okay, and then, so the reason I'm doing this is I might honestly have to make this wall a little higher, because they might start...
That might be okay. That might be okay. Just try to make sure they can't dig. Cause they they'll they'll dig underneath. Like right here. It's even just a little bit too much, and then I bring it back so they don't have anywhere to climb. Always being go away. <laughs> I heard you call in more. That has literally been the biggest problem I've had so far is I cannot get a break from the amount of zombies. Thing is, the screamer is drawn in by the heat map, and I'm pretty sure my heat map is uh, shining like the sun right now. So, I mean, with two forges going or three forges going, plus you have the all the torches I have lighting up the area. That's one of the reasons why I'm trying to bring up the, um, the electric lights because they don't bring in because it's the flickering, I believe, is what they say causes the. the flickering that causes the zombies to be attracted to it. With electric lights they don't have you don't have that problem. At least if I remember correctly. All right, let's take the motorcycle and take a quick break. We'll go grab this crate. Not too far away. moment I look up to see if I can find the crate, a nice big iron block. Already landed, has it? Could have, probably has. Yep, there it is. Okay, jump turret, machete. A zombie over here. 
there he is. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's head back to the house. Running pretty smooth for the most part. That was a ramp off. So I did level up one time between now and last episode, and I was able to put it into Mother Load. Didn't help too much, but it did give us a little bit more from the big boulders. Broke down two of the big boulders, I think. Let's see. I wonder. I mean, that gives you a little bit of stuff. Oh, this gives you a lot of rocks. That gave us a lot of... This gives us cement. Cobblestone. So you can actually mine these places up and get quite a bit of stuff. Like, if you're not anywhere near a desert like I am. Maybe that was the whole point of them putting these in here. It's just so you could do this. Level 60. Or 60. Okay. Okay, I was kind of expecting some more stuff in here. Oh, here we go. So, note to self, if you need resources, this is a decent place to get it. You know, early on. I mean, we got our... Book the neighborhood. Oh crap! Hi there! That was crappy. I was expecting- how did they get out? They couldn't have, they shouldn't have been able to get out. Anyway, so as I was saying, the uh, construction places are actually a decent place to uh, get yourself some, a little bit of cement and stuff, because that saved us a little bit of time. It actually did.
picked up a... Well, you know what? I probably should make some more frames. Yeah, full-blown... Wait. There we go. I'm in full-blown cook mode right now. a decent amount all right so like I said <laughs> yeah, this stuff is so expensive but you know if you're gonna make yourself a nice base you gotta have the best stuff Actually, finish this bottom row here. At least we're making decent progress. Four? Nope. Okay, um, rebar frames. I think you have to make those in the forge. Okay, so. Do we need to make another forge? Okay, we have all that. So that, that, what was it, duct tape? It's the wrong button. Okay, I don't think I need ten. Let's try four more. Oh, you know what? Let's build this in the workbench. All this is that cell. I'm actually going to keep the beaker because, like everything else, we're going to be making a cooking area. I need more bullets. I'm a home style rounds. All this ammo I've been using. Is all from just from killing the screamers. That surprises me. I thought she screamed. It's barely used any fuel whatsoever. Saving all the stone in my inventory for the um, concrete. Do I have any more stone in here? I might actually have to go grab some more stone. Yeah, it looks like we're almost out of stone again. So this is pretty much how I do things. Just... Keep on keeping on, I guess. I mean, just give us a little bit. Okay, let's go find another boulder. So 
boulder there, but what's this little thing over here? Apparently, hay is not <laughs> breakable by shotgun. Yeah, we're back to full on scrap mode. Okay, let's head back. I just saw this in the distance. Yeah, see, one of these stones gave me, like, 12,000, like, one of these big boulders gave me, like, 12,000 small stone. So these things are really good to get. The one I had was a little bit bigger, though. It's, um, I think that clear patch right there, right next to the house. One might give me about six. Actually, no. This one's gone by fast. Might be only. This might be only a three or four. Watch. We'll get back over to the house, and it's gonna be zombie galore. It's gonna be another screamer in there. So that gave us, this was about 3,000, so that gave us about 4,500, give or take. Not a bad amount. Not the best, though. Big, big rock over there. I think we'll just pop right over there and get it. Yeah, let's get this one right. Just up to 2,000. So we got 8,000 right now. Let's get this big one. There's another one right between the girls and the doggos. Oh, this one's huge. There's two of them. Get the smaller one first. Because it's going to take me probably... A, it's going to be an all-nighter for me to get that big one. Not to mention I'm almost out of fuel.
Honestly, my auger might break before we just, I finish all of this. Got plenty of repair kits, so I'm not too worried about that. But I do think I'm going to have to start tapping into some more gas, get some more gas going, because it's going to be pretty, pretty tight pretty soon. So we're at 12,400. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to start breaking down this one. This will probably get me another twelve or 13,000 stone, I think. So, hope you guys are enjoying this. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.